Deep in the immensity of the cosmos, 2 million light years away from our galaxy, we find Andromeda, the closest galaxy to us. Considered one of the most beautiful galaxies, on a completely clear night we could observe it with a naked eye due to its relative proximity. It has an immeasurable number of luminous stars like ours that could contain light right now. Apparently, this galaxy is not as beautiful as we thought and we could be facing a terrifying galaxy formed by the entire destruction. What is the reason for this? Stay with us until the end of the video to find out and remember to like and subscribe. This way you'll be supporting the channel and that helps us a lot. It is known that galaxies are formed by stars that from their beginnings were formed by gas and dust, products of the Big Bang. Little by little they adapted their shape until they took the place we all know in this immense universe. However, it seems that our nearest neighbor is a cannibal monster galaxy, which during its long time of life has been devouring smaller galaxies. Now comes for us to cause a huge galactic collision or perhaps with the aim of slowly devouring us until we are a single galaxy. As it grew, the Andromeda galaxy became a cannibal galaxy that devours its weaker neighbors and this will happen with the Milky Way. Andromeda leaves cosmic crops in its wake and has done so for billions of years. According to a study by the University of Sydney, Australia, there is a high probability that the Milky Way will suffer the same fate. The first related phenomenon was observed by a reputable team of astronomers from Australia who were studying the Duckley structure. This structure inhabits the Andromeda galaxy but appears to have originated in another galaxy. This leads researchers to think that perhaps it had been devoured by a cosmic colossus and, for this reason, astrophysicists describe this team of stars as the work of a cosmic feast that Andromeda had at some point in history. It seems that this is not the first time that this has happened throughout history. It is that the insatiable gravitational pull of Andromeda has finished in the same way with small galaxies and from these observations, scientists determined that the growth of Andromeda had been violent and sporadic. This could explain why smaller objects orbit Andromeda's outskirts and could be the remnants of its various cosmic feats that the galaxy has had in the past, at different times of its development in the universe. This process has already begun for us and both structures are approaching each other at 400 km per hour according to a document provided by NASA. Although this speed is imperceptible to humans, this marks the irremediate path for the formation of Lactomeda, the new galaxy that will be formed from the merger between the Milky Way and Andromeda. Astrophysicists estimate that the collision will occur in about 4 billion years, and it is believed that when our cosmic neighbor hurdles towards our galaxy, a giant electrical structure will form. Andromeda will not devour the Milky Way. On the contrary, they will unite to form a much larger complex and harmonious structure, but unfortunately human beings will be completely extinct by then and only remnants of a civilization that once existed in this universe will remain. Or maybe, or maybe not. Maybe we humans will develop enough to not have to suffer this mega cosmic collision that would end our existence. We're going to be ambiguous and we are not going to think about what to do in 100 years. But in thousands and millions of years, we are going to manage to escape, not only from our solar system, but from our galaxy. Nobody can confine our imagination. In millions of years, we will be close to immortality and we will be able to withstand the radiation of outer space and travel at speeds like the speed of light. What a breakthrough it would be for humanity to have some advanced technology to allow us to pivot between galaxies in order to save our race and thus be able to continue expanding to observe from our world the incredible collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda. Today, for us, the residents living in the Milky Way, this collision would be a natural catastrophe because it would kill us mercilessly. But in the case of being able to pivot to another habitable world outside these two galaxies will allow us to save our existence and from our sky, we could observe this mega collision which a priori may seem terrifying because it touches us directly, but watching it from another world outside these galaxies must be a wonderful spectacle. When this merger takes place, Lactometa will be orphaned of life for millions and millions of years, but it will not be forever. When the miracle of life happens again in this new galaxy, the inhabitants of Lactometa will live many years longer than us. However, they will have much to envy us for since new stars will no longer form. 
they will not be able to contemplate these beautiful shapes and colors of this region where it happens. Nor will they have the opportunity to know the details of the Big Bang, since the radiation that has allowed us to observe the first moments of the universe will not be visible to them. They will not be able to observe the first galaxies formed or the quasars, which means that they will not be able to learn about the expansions of the universe. In fact, even the light coming from the nearest galaxies will become fainter and fainter, and they will come a point where this civilization will only see a single galaxy, their own. They will think that the universe is static and eternal, thus returning to the early views of the Aristotelian universe, Well, it was believed that the Earth was the center of the universe and that the Sun, the Moon, the planets, and all the fixed stars revolved around our Earth. The Aristotelian model was of great importance in the development of human thought, not only because it remained for a long time as a paradigm or way of understanding the world in the history of our civilization, but also because without knowing it, the process of paradigm shift initiated by Copernicus cannot be understood. The Aristotelian model, also known as Aristotelian philosophy or the Aristotelian system, refers to the philosophy and theories developed by the Greek philosopher Aristotle. 384 to 322 BC. Aristotle was a disciple of Plato, and his work covered a wide range of disciplines such as logic, metaphysics, ethics, politics, biology, and physics. It's based on a theological conception of the universe, which means that it considers everything in nature to have an intrinsic purpose or finality. According to Aristotle, the ultimate goal of all things is to reach their full potential or perfection. For example, the goal of an acorn is to become an oak tree, and the goal of a human being is to attain wisdom and happiness. In terms of logic, Aristotle developed a rigorous deductive system known as Aristotelian logic. He introduced the concept of syllogism, which is a type of deductive reasoning composed of two premises and a conclusion. Aristotle established rules and principles for the validity of syllogisms and classified the different forms of reasoning in his work, Organon. In metaphysics, Aristotle proposed a theory of substance and causality. According to him, everything in the universe is composed of individual substances, which are entities with independent existence. In addition, he identified four causes or grounds for the change and existence of things. The material cause, the formal cause, the efficient cause, and the final cause. In ethics and politics, Aristotle argued that the supreme goal of human beings is to achieve happiness through virtue and moral excellence. According to him, happiness is achieved by living in accordance with reason and balance, following the middle ground between extremes. He also presented a political theory known as Aristotelian politics in which he advocated a form of government based on virtue and the common good. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to give a like if you liked the video and subscribe. This will you'll be supporting the channel and help us a lot. See you in the next video.